restoration and unfortunately we're, we can't speak for the core. Uh, there were I believe 56 projects that were identified as the development of those projects uh, began. They were prioritized and, and some of them were set on the back burner while others moved ahead. Um, and as you know, we, the district had moved ahead with certain components um, uh, trying to, to what we called accelerate of uh, certain projects to take advantage of funding and, and what we saw happening with the increase in land values. Uh, we did complete a number of those designs. As you know, we started at the EAA Reservoir, which then was halted uh, for various permit reasons. Work is continuing in development of CERF projects. Uh, a number of them. Uh, we have uh, several project implementation reports, and say we, I mean the core, uh, that have been completed. Some of them are still underway. Um, so I can't give you specifics of which ones are moving ahead, but there certainly is a process here, and, and if you're not aware of it, I want you to be aware of it, is each third project has a project delivery team, and, and those are, are public meetings where they, where they are held and there, is, there are uh, groups that are participants in this team um, that, that are allowed to actively participate and then members of the public are welcome to attend and then there are public comment periods. So, so during those meetings there certainly is opportunity to ask questions and comment on what you're hearing as that team progresses. So in the area of visibility you can participate as, as those plans are being developed. Uh, there's also a public review process where those uh, deliverables are put out as those uh, reports progress through the stages. <coughs> and, and there's a, an opportunity to comment and, and get your comments on the record there as well. So I, I would encourage anyone uh, to go on to the uh, CERP webpage, uh, 
uh, to start looking at those documents and, and schedules and uh, uh, take advantage of you know, the opportunity to get um, involved in those projects. My name is Carol Morris and I am with the Broward Service Center. Um, the Broward Service Center is a small office. We're located here in Broward. We are primarily an outreach office. Um, if you have entities that are interested in learning more about some of the projects, if you have entities that want to talk about water issues, water quality, water supply planning, water conservation, we do have staff available. We're happy to come out and speak with you, meet with you on those issues and try to move those causes forward. Um, as Joe pointed out, the Army Corps process does provide for public comment in the PDT meetings, the project delivery team meetings. Um, if you have not been to the CERC website, you probably do want to take a few moments, visit that website. You can sign up for notifications of local meetings, things like that. Um, they do tend to be lengthy meetings, so I would suggest that if you plan on attending, you'd be prepared to be there for a while. Um, that's really all I have. My name is Rupa Chimuru. I am more or less at the tail end of the process. I, I work in procurement, and what we do does not address the issues raised by uh, Ms. Peterman and Mr. Peterman, but what we try to do is that whenever there are any projects, we have what we call a small business enterprise. So we're, we're in, we try our best to bring in minorities. We have them registered at the district, about a thousand of them right now. And at the moment, they, whatever contracts are let, the small business enterprises do um, enjoy about 10 to 12 percent of the contract cost. And this is a program that we are, it's a living program. We continue to get as many persons included in that part of the process. At the moment, I apologize that. I, I do not have any issues. I'm learning just as you all are from the presenters about super projects. And so I have at the moment. I do have on our website also, we, we, we do have all the information necessary for any small business enterprise to be part of the project. It's simple, but it needs your effort. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'm going to come back to that for a second because I think one of the important. I'm sorry, I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the big things I know to remember in Florida, thank you, uh, was that to have minority contracts be presented in this and that minorities and small businesses could get contracts. Do you have any idea how this is working out? Are we actually seeing any results there? How many contracts are going to small businesses and minorities? I, I, I do not really know the, the, the quantity of the small contracts, but we do have a specific department. It's maybe four persons. And um, for, for example, as of today, for this fiscal year, there were uh, approximately uh, contracts to the value of $137 million. And of that, about $70 million went to small businesses. And last year, the, which is when we more or less really got into the small business enterprise, the figure was a bit larger, $33 million, but the percentage was small, just about 5% of the total contract. This year, we are averaging around 12%. And we are constantly having network meetings in the various counties uh, to encourage participation by the small business enterprises. They, as long as they call in at a district or go on the website, 
get the particulars, we are more than happy to keep processing these applications. And we try to elevate small businesses so that they do become larger. I'd like to add to that a little bit. Uh, we recently executed contracts for construction of, of several stormwater treatment area uh, in the Everglades agriculture area, uh, known as compartments B and C. Uh, we executed the, uh, the civil works, which are the, the levees and the control structures. We are right now putting out the pump stations. Uh, so total of these, uh, contracts out in the EAA will be somewhere around $200 million. That's just off the top of my head. Uh, there is a, a, a local participation requirement in those contracts and an SBE participation. I believe it's around 20%. It, it's fairly substantial and, and uh, with those, the, uh, the bidders are evaluated on, on meeting that and then once they get the contracts and they are required to adhere to them. So there is a follow-up uh, to, to ensure compliance with those, those requirements. And what, what, what we do to continue in evaluating those responses to the proposals for the projects, we encourage the, the, the major um, participants to have up to 25% participation by small business enterprises. So anyone who comes in with a participation of 25%, the higher participation is, it's according to the scoring system. If they do get the contract, the small businesses must participate up to 25%. Okay, so that was, I think, about a procurement. One of the other things that after word, uh, there was a 2001 community, or it was the Economic and Environmental Equity uh, Program was established. Um, can anybody of you tell me what, my students actually looked up what has been done with that. And we went to that webpage and they couldn't find it. Does anybody have, tell me what has been coming out of the 2001 plan? Any progress, that, or where we can go to find it? Your, your students probably could tell us more about it than, than I could. I, I couldn't tell you that. I'm not familiar with that one. And to me, you know, this goes back to the transparency. And I thought it was really interesting when, when Frank brought that up. I think about the transparency is that we tried to find it, we couldn't find it. So I think we need to do something about the transparency. Um, finding it is not as easy as it seems. Okay. Um, all right, I, th I think you know, people might probably have questions. I have a couple of other ones, but are there any questions? Here's your chance. Yes, Thaddeus. I don't know, I don't know if I, yes, it's on. it's on. Okay, you just mentioned the OCCT, I believe, the Outreach Environment Economic Advisory Council. Is it, uh, I formed that council, and we were the first ones to apply to be a partner with the working group, because I was on the working group. And we, to this day, never became a partner. And you probably own the documentation that you'll find with that is what I have. Because it never came about. The, it's a lot of things, when we talk about outreach and environmental justice, what's not clear is when you talk about a small business, that's up to $25 million, a small business. This is outreach and environmental justice, so we need to be talking about a minority businesses and, and uh, which I have not heard anything in the conversation today. I can stand up for two or three days and talk about what's going on. Uh, we, the openness and, and one thing that we need to do away with is remove the waiver of the, um, of the um, Florida's law where you have to do everything open because what has happened in the past, and I may get in trouble for it since I'm running for state office, but that's, I'm sorry, if this keeps me from being elected, I'm sorry, I won't be because this is me. We, we need to remove that portion where everything's got in the open. When I was on the working group, there was the out front meeting and it was the back door meeting, and I was never performed at the back door meeting. Things that we did was changed in the back door meeting. So anybody want to question me and ask me about what I'm saying, I can clarify. I was there for three years. I was there before. And now it is supposed to be Congress approved South 